Okay, I received a message uh, from somebody that says I should make a universal adapter to be able to put that on just about anything somebody might want to power. Uh, he said he'd it, it, rather not buy this overpriced uh, power unit. And I didn't explain myself very well on this apparently, but you don't have to have that. Now, as far as making adapters for every possible uh, generator out there, I, I, I can't do that. You know, that's not possible. I have no idea what you're going to be using to generate power. Uh, I, don't, I have no idea what you're going to be using as a wind turbine generator. So, let's say, let's say you have your own... Uh, own generator. You have one you like a lot. This one's a wind blue. This is not necessarily my preference, uh, especially now that I've tried other things. Uh, the shaft of the wind blue is a 17 millimeter. This one has a 5 8 thread. It's a it's a standard thread of 5 8 that's a, a stainless steel shaft. This is the upgrade from what the original was. Now the original was a 17 millimeter shaft with the same pitch threads that's on a GM alternator. So it's uh, like a, uh, I forgot, 2.6 millimeter or something like that. Some wild thing. Really hard to find the, uh, uh, a nut for it or a uh, nut die for it. So I'm glad they changed to this. But let's say you have a you have your base already, you have your generator already, and all you need is an adapter to put between the turbine and the and the generator. So let's look at the turbine for a second. Now this is the very first prototype I made. This is a proof of concept machine. It uh, doesn't have all the all the hardware that I added to that latest one that I made but like I said this is a proof of concept I just wanted to find out if it would work paint job is terrible it's been through a lot of storms I know where the weak points are and I've, I know how to upgrade it but if you look at this part you see there's no shaft that's just the turbine. This is what you would get if you wanted just the turbine. Got about $500 worth of material. So you got about $500 worth of material and $525 in labor to make the thing. So it's $1,025 for this and it will have the upgrades that this one does not have. But what do we do for the adapter? We, we've got the turbine and we have the generator. So where's the adapter? Alright, the adapter is the center tube. Now either you can send your generator to me and I can make that nut. Uh, this one's made especially for the wind blue and the, the, the nuts that I make for the, uh, for the Freedom PMG and, and Freedom 2 are, they have a different thread but it's basically the same thing. The tube is the adapter. So once you have a tube and you can make this on your own if you have let's say you've you've found a good washing machine motor You've taken the thing apart, you've rewired it where you've got a uh, three phase coming off and you've got your magnets set up on a, on a, uh, whatever it is, a, like a drum to run around the, the coils. If you've gone that far, you can probably make your own tube. And this is a two inch, basically two inch. Let's take a look. Okay, so that's uh, just under two inches, just under two inches. And that way the locking collar 
and the turbine just slides right over it and will cinch down nice and snug. So, so after you've either bought or made your own adapter to go on your generator, So now, now our adapter is in place, and uh, show you just how easy it is to slide that turbine over the adapter. So you there we go. Now once once you've got it down in place, you just tighten up the uh, the set screws on those locking collars, and the turbine is ready to go. So the center tube is your adapter. The turbine is is the part that slides over the adapter. If you have your own generator, your own base, your own tube, the turbine should just slide right over that if your tube is just two inches or slightly under. And it needs to be round and it needs to be straight and smooth. So you may have to have somebody do that. It doesn't have to be me, but it's not a problem. You don't have to buy this. You can, you can just set it up where you have that two inch tube sticking off the front of it and the, tur the, the, the vault will slide over the tube. And just make sure that you've, you've measured it well and you've let me know. So if the, if the inside of these collars need to be uh, cleaned out a little bit, um, need to be made just a little bit bigger, and I can do that on the lathe. Uh, it's not an issue. We want it to be able want it to be able to fit on anything you want it to fit on. So uh, just have to have accurate measurements. Don't be afraid to try. Okay, I'm going to tell you why I recommend the Freedom Two. Um, now, I don't get any money out of this. I don't even get a discount if I buy them. Uh, that's, that's one thing. I had talked to Jeff, and I was going to be able to buy these as a dealer, but uh, I've never gotten a discount. So that's why I say if you want to use one of these, buy it, have it sent to me, and I'll make the tube to fit it. But in the meantime, you know, uh, I still recommend it until I find something else that works equally as well that I could possibly get a discount whenever I buy it. Because uh, it is, there is a lot of, I mean, it has to be able to produce as much power, but it has to be where I can make a little bit of money off of it too. And this one I can't. But I can tell you why I recommend this at this time. The Freedom 2 has four mounting points. Uh, not like an alternator type PMA. This has four mounting points so it sits on the, sits on the top of the pole solidly. It also has a stainless steel shaft that runs throughout the body of it. It has a bearing in the back and a bearing in the front, not, not like an alternator where you have a cup bearing in the back. It has, now the, the stainless steel is important in that it doesn't, you know, the magnets are on the center shaft, or that's the rotor, and if the shaft is steel, the, the magnetism transfers through the bearing, which slows the bearing down. 
so with stainless steel it doesn't interfere with the with the ease of turning the turbine uh, another thing is it's a dual core so you have um, it's a dual core so you have two lines coming out and those of it. lines going through your rectifiers uh, can be ran in series which means that the turbine itself doesn't have to turn as fast to generate enough power to charge batteries and that's what you want to do with that is just charge batteries um, you can't can't run it directly run anything electric directly off of a wind turbine unless you're in an area where you have constant wind and I think if you lived in an area where it had cost constant wind you wouldn't want to live there <laughs> I know I wouldn't uh, no such thing as a picnic if your stuff keeps blowing off your blanket. Well, I want to say thanks to anybody who's stuck around in the video this long. And I want to show you one more thing. If you think the $439 price tag for the Freedom 2 is high, let me show you one of his competitors. Uh, I like I like the Hurricane Wind guy. He's, he's, he seems like a good good fella. But uh, and this is his products, and I, I'd really like to try some of them. I wouldn't try. I wouldn't try this because I've already gone that route before. Uh, it's a low wind, uh, permanent magnet alternator. Um, it doesn't. It only has the two tabs to mount with. And it, I believe that probably still has the little cup, uh, cup and needle bearings in the back of it. It may work great as a horizontal, but it wouldn't work very well as a as a vertical. So, uh, and at two hundred and thirty nine dollars for a single core, it's uh, a little too pricey for for what it is. So, we're not going to go that route. And then he has two other products that I would love to try, but the price is just a, way out of my, my range. And since nobody sends me generators to try, I have to buy them uh, to try them with my Vought. And I just, uh, I don't have it in the budget to buy even the cheapest ones. Um, but we can look at one of these. Now this, this is if that gets bigger. No, it didn't. There we go. Well, that's not even bigger either. Anyway, that's this is a single core. Okay, this is the Air Boss uh, 120 volt. Let's see, actual flux. A very nice little unit. Uh, but it, it might do pretty well under my Vought. But that one is almost seventeen hundred dollars that's all that's that's uh, way 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 out of my price range so so we'll look at one more and this is kind of a dream machine and that would be the dual core uh, dual core air boss looks like uh, 120 volt 2.8 kilowatt I have no idea what the wind speed would be to get it to do that but um, the more it would make in the higher wind the more it's going to wait make in the lower wind also that's uh, 3199 dollars 99 cents so 3200 bucks and I'm sure there's tax on that as well it's 100 pounds, so you have to pay the shipping. So you're probably looking uh, $3,300, 3400 for a wind turbine generator. Uh, I'm not going to do it. I just don't. If I had a million dollars, I'd give them a shot. But I'm a poor boy. I deal with what I've got. And things that are proven to me so far uh, of course if you have something that you would like me to try 
send it to me. I'll stick it under the vat. I'll give it a test. I'll, I'll be honest with you. If it does well, then, then you may be my go-to supplier for these things. But uh, as it is, even if Jeff uh, from Missouri Wind and Solar has made a lot of enemies, his, he's got a decent product. So as a businessman dealing with another businessman, we'll keep it in business and I'll keep dealing with him uh, until I can find something that's a little, little more affordable than this and a little bit better than what I get from him. So thanks for watching. Who'd have thunk it?